Assalamu alaikum grade sevens. For today we are going to look at two operations, multiplication and division. I'm going to do an example for you, the ones that are in your textbook, uh, in your textbook. and I'm going to show you how it's done and then you will complete an activity for me, okay? Alright, let's look at the first example. The first example says 2310. Okay, times 35. Right. Now, it is important to remember that we are going to start with the unit section. Right, there is another method where you expand it, but I feel like common column method is much easier. So, we are going to start with the unit section and we are going to multiply the top number by the 5. Okay, so this is how we do it. We are going to say 0 times 5 is 0, 1 times 5 is 5, 3 times 5 is 15, so we put down the 5 and we carry the 1 to the 2. Right? 2 times 5 is 10 plus the 1 is 11. Right? Now we are going to multiply the top number by the 10s. Right? As you can see, this is 30. It's in our 10. Uh, tens position okay because it's in the tens we are going to put down our zero then we start with our calculation zero times three is zero one times three is three three times three is nine and two times three is six the next step is to add these two numbers together zero plus 0 is 0, 5 plus 0 is 5, 5 plus 3 is 8, 1 plus 9 is 10, carry the 1, uh, 1 plus 6 is 7, plus the 1 is 8, and this is our answer. Okay, the next example uh, we are going to be looking at is division in your textbook. It says, divide... Um, 145,413 by 321. So that actually means how many times can 321 go into this number here? Okay, so I don't know if you guys remember from last year, we, we did a division board where we said 321 times 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 and times 5. Okay, just to find out the factors of that number. I'm going to show you how it works. So we look at 321 and we say, how many times can it go into 1? It is bigger than 1, so it cannot go into 1. So how many times can it go into 14? It cannot. How many times can it go into 145? It cannot because the number is too small. How many times can it go into 1,454? It can go into that number. Let's see how many times. You will see that if we times 321 by 3, we get 963, which is too little. So, if we say 321 times 4, we get 1,284, right? Which will fit into there. But let's check if an another 321 can fit inside. So, let's say 321 times 5, 1,605. We have exceeded this number. Therefore, 324, uh, 21 times 4 is what we are going to use so it can go into this number four times we put down the four and we write the number below okay and 1284 right there it is here now we do our subtraction so we are going to say four minus four zero five minus eight five cannot minus eight let's borrow 15 minus 8 is 7, 3 minus 2 is 1, and 1 minus 1 is 0. We do not have to put the 0 in the beginning of the number. How many times can 321 go into 170? It's too small, so it cannot go into it. We will therefore bring down our 1. How many times can it go into 1,701? Right. If you look here, 321 times 5 is going to give us 1,605. If you say times 6, the number is going to be higher. So, we will use this number here. So, we will put down our 5 over here. 
and we will write down this number below and subtract it to see what the difference is. So we are going to put our 1,605 down below and we are going to subtract. Let's see how much we get. Alright, 1 minus 5 is, 1 cannot minus 5, therefore we are going to borrow. We cannot borrow from the 0 because it is too small, therefore we need to borrow from the 7. Right, so the 7 is going to become 6, and this is going, the 0 is going to become 10. Now we can borrow from the 10, that 10 is going to become 9, and this is going to become 11. Okay. So 11 minus 5 is 6, 9 minus 0 is 9. Right, 6 minus 6 is 0, 1 minus 1 is 0, we do not have to put it down. 96, how many times can 321 go into 96? Cannot because it's too small. We still have one last number that we can take down, so we are going to bring down that 3. How many times can 321 go into 963? If you look at this division board, 321 times 3 equals 963. So it goes into this number exactly 3 times. So we are going to put down our 3 here on top, right? And we are going to write the number down. Okay. So 963. We then minus the two, minus the two numbers from each other. We will get 0 for all of it. And that tells us that there is no remainder. Okay, I hope you guys understand. Let's move on. Learners, after you have watched this video, and uh, you are going to rule off, you are going to write down uh, today's date, right? Um, your heading is whole numbers, and your subheading is calculations with whole numbers, okay? You are going to write down this definition, then this, this definition here, and you are going to complete exercise 1.4 for me for tomorrow. If you need any help, just send me a message and I will get back to you. I hope you guys understand. Assalamu alaikum.